trust for which, Andrew Holness, was listed as a director. The company, which was incorporated on December 20, 2000, detailed, charitable services, as its core business activity. For, two, activity, dates, activity, 2000 deck. Formation of West Central St. Andrew Trust, Robert Garvin, was listed as a ceased director as of November 1, 2016, in the company West Central St. Andrew Trust for which, Andrew Holness, was listed as a director. The company, which was incorporated on December 20, 2000, detailed, charitable services, as its core business activity. The other directors listed were, Kedisha Campbell, Mark Arzan, Delroy Williams, Kent Gammon, and, Glendon Salmon. 2002, 2004 October. As 18th North reported in 2016, the first known property purchased by Mr. Holness and his wife, Juliet, was in 2002 when they bought their home at Great House Boulevard in St. Andrew for $7 million, 144,152 United States dollars. With Mr. Holness' salary as a member of parliament being around $2. 2,045,442 United States dollars per year. There were two listed mortgages amounting to five dollars. 33,109,761 million one hundred and nine thousand seven hundred and sixty one United States dollars, which means that the down payment was only one dollar. Sixty seven million seven million dollars minus five dollars. Thirty three million. The entity Westcon Construction Limited was incorporated on October 11, 2004, and was registered by the company's Office of Jamaica, COJ, with the following directors and shareholders. Robert Garvin, Director, Shareholder. E. Donovan Simpson, Director, Shareholder, and E. Jerome Green, Secretary. Westcon Construction Limited held registration with the National Contracts Commission, NCC, during the following periods. I. July 11, 2008 to July 10, 2009. E. May 21, 2007 to May 20, 2008, and E. April 11, 2006 to April 10, 2007. Both directors, Garvin and Simpson, are known to Mr. Holness. Both, Andrew Holness, and, Robert Garvin, were listed as directors of the company, Sunshine Mobile Company, for which the core business activity was the provision of transportation consultancy. Though the commission revealed $57.5,776,643 United States dollars, worth of contracts that were awarded to Westcon mostly from the National Works Agency and the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information while Mr. Holness presided as minister, to make their case, the commission relied heavily on two small contracts from the Social Development Commission, SDC, for works carried out in Mr. Holness constituency. Andrew Holness, Minister of Education. Dash 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 sixteen you Andrew Michael Holness was born in Saint Catherine on July twenty second nineteen seventy two he was educated at Saint Catherine High School and the University of the West Indies UWI. He joined a university political branch of the JLP in 1992. While enrolled at UWI, and commenced active involvement with the party in 1993. In 1997 Holness was selected by the JLP to contest the general elections in the West. Central Street. Andrew constituency and at age 25 was the youngest person contesting elections, and second youngest in history to win a seat in Parliament. Note. Current PM. Bruce Golding was 24 years old when he won his first seat. End note. Closing parenthesis. 17. You, Holness previously served as opposition spokesperson. On Land and Development, 1999-2002, Housing, 2002-May.
2005, and education, from June 2005 until the current election. He was announced as the new Minister of Education in Bruce Golding's new 18-member cabinet. 18. You, Andrew Holness is married and still one of the youngest MPs at 35 years old. He enjoys chess, table, tennis, fishing and Jamaican literature. Holness started as a pre-trained teacher and later worked as research assistant and as an executive assistant to former PM Edward Siaga. 2006. November 1 to July 16, 2009. Westcon Construction Limited awarded government contracts. NWA failed to report to the Office of the Contractor General, OCG. Failure of the Ministry of Education to report to the awarded OCG contracts. Conflict of interest, Mr. Holness awarded contracts to a company where at least one of the directors is a friend for over 20, 20 years and a business partner. The first contract in 2007 was worth $1. 45 million, 21,002 United States dollars, for cleaning, bushing and trimming in his constituency of West Central Street. Andrew. The second was for, consultancy services, in 2009 valued at $375,000, 4,248 United States dollars, to oversee work and projects in the constituency. Mrs. Golding Randall reported that for this time period, Four, four, contracts were not reported by the Ministry of Education, Youth, and Information, MOEYI, and 26, 26, contracts were unreported by the NWA to the OGC. The value of 34 contracts awarded was around $33,787,368.32.2007 DEC. Recommendation. Westcon Construction Limited was recommended by way of a letter which was dated December 20, 2007, authored by the Most Hon. Andrew Holness for the award of a contract in the amount of $1,450,000. for works in the West Central Street. Andrew constituency relating to the 2007 Christmas work program. Before 2007. Omega Bridge Finance Limited. Company number 61765. Status active. Both Robert Garvin and Juliet Holness were listed as directors of the company Omega Bridge Finance, for which the core business activity recorded was investments. Of note, Andrew Holness was listed as a cease director in the company as of September 7, 2007 and is listed as a shareholder together with, Robert Garvin. 2007, Mr. Holness had assets of only US$472,531 and 7 Jamaican dollars. 1 million, according to a Gleaner article written after Mr. Holness shared his 2007-2016 statutory declarations with that newspaper along with two other media outlets, not with 18th North despite recent requests. When converted and summed together that's $39.7,575,370 United States dollars. After subtracting the stated liabilities of 2,875 United States dollars and three Jamaican dollars. 4 million, 18th North calculates that Mr. Holness net worth would have been around $36.1,523,248 United States dollars in 2007. Since the purchase price of the Great House Boulevard home was 7 million Jamaican dollars, it appears just the 472,531 United States dollars was liquid or near liquid. How Mr. Holness managed to have liquid assets of 472,531 United States dollars, 32 dollars. 6 million, by 2007 is a mystery to CPA Nelson since Mr. Holness was a mere member of parliament from 2002 to that time and members of parliament were still earning in the range of 2 million dollars per year during that period. He is a financial wizard, quipped Mr. Nelson. He was only able to scrounge up one dollar.
6 million for a deposit in 2002 and then, magically, he's worth $32 million five years later. Quote. When told that Mr. Holness implied to the Gleaner that his source of funds for the 472,531 United States dollars, $32. 6 million, were his small businesses, CPA Nelson responded, there has to be a profit there somewhere, did he pay taxes on those gains? 18. North knows of Mr. Holness having had a loans company and a taxi service, but tax returns aren't public, so only official investigative bodies would be able to determine if these companies were generating these kinds of profits. 2008. The revelation, contained in its report tabled in Parliament on September 17, raises a question about the thoroughness of the Commission's investigation into Mr. Holness unexplained wealth since it overlooked one of the most significant periods between 2008 and 2011 when Mr. Holness used Admit to purchase $57.1,692,478 United States dollars worth of properties without any registered mortgages at a time when his average salary as Minister of Education averaged about $5. 2,062,513 United States dollars per year, not counting allowances. SSL. Holness noted that he had disclosed in February 2016 that he held an investment brokerage account with SSL, which was opened in 2008. However, he said that in September 2021, he liquidated the last remaining financial instrument managed by SSL and gave instructions for his account to be closed. I have no funds currently with SSL, and I have not done any business with SSL since September 2021, Holness said. 2008 Feb. ADMAT is registered in St. Lucia. The company ADMAT combines the names of two sons, Adam and Matthew Holness. Andrew Holness said he is the company's sole director, and the company has three shareholders, being my sons and myself. Quote. The company was registered in 2008 and declared to the Integrity Commission that year. Everything I own is physically in Jamaica, Andrew Holness. The investigation report also made clear that, the source of funds used to acquire assets held by Admet was not verified by way of an investigation by the Commission. This is noteworthy because Admet was registered in St. Lucia in February 2008 as a holding company for estate planning purposes, according to Mr. Holness in a 2016 interview with 18th North, so its assets would seem to have come directly from Mr. Holness. 2008, without any listed mortgages, Admet was able to purchase an apartment on Acadia Drive in St. Andrew for $16 million, 219,449 United States dollars, Mr. Holness revealed that in 2008, Admit Inc. purchased 100,000 United States dollars. 002039, 8% government of Jamaica Global Bond, that made twice yearly coupon payments. U.S. dollar portfolio moved to 339,500 United States dollars from 473,000 United States dollars, in addition to what I had claimed back from my investments, which went to the purchase of these properties, he told the Gleaner in 2016. At the time, there was no mention of the 100,000 United States dollars worth of 2039 8% Gotch Global Bond that Admet had bought in 2008. Taking that into account, 18th North calculates that that would have left Mr. Holness with a negative balance of about 20,000 United States dollars if the bond had been purchased at full price, 472,531 United States dollars, 392,478 United States dollars in properties plus 100,000 United States dollars bond investment. Even Olland, a popular unauthorized, investment club, with a reputation for monthly returns of 10%, was ultimately shut down in Jamaica in 2008. Records obtained by 18th North Show and Andrew Holness with a taxpayer registration number, TRN, matching his TRN as a client. However, Mr. 
Holness didn't answer a question about whether Ollant was what helped his assets to grow so quickly by 2007. He also didn't say if he had managed to get out his investments from there before it was shut down in Jamaica in 2008. 2009. 2010. Government of Jamaica global bond prices had also fallen on credit downgrades in 2008 before coming back in 2009. It wasn't until March 2009 that U.S. stocks had started to recover strongly, and not until 2010 for the Jamaican stock market, and both the Acadia apartment and the Wycliffe Close Land were purchased by Admet in September 2008 and February 2009, respectively, before the markets started recovering. In 2009 a lot at Wycliffe Close in Beverly Hills in St. Andrew for $15. 275 million, 173,029 United States dollars, the Gleaner implied that the 472,531 United States dollars was the source of funds used to purchase the Acadia apartment in 2008 and the Wycliffe close plot of land in 2009 for a combined total of 392,478 United States dollars, 31 dollars. 275 million, without mortgages. Simple math would mean that there should have been a balance in Mr. Holness U.S. dollar portfolio of 80,053 United States dollars, 472,531 United States dollars minus 392,478 United States dollars. But somehow, the balance remained well over 300,000 United States dollars, according to Mr. Holness. Subject started negotiations to purchase a piece of land to construct family home. 2011 Jan. Subject made the first of four payments on the land. 2011, a 300,000 United States dollars, $25. 8 million, piece of land at Shenston Drive, also in Beverly Hills, on which his big house was eventually built. 2011 July. The title was transferred. Funds from my accounts at JMMB and Stocks and Securities, SSL, were used to finance the purchase of the property. 2011 August. Payments completed. 2011 October. Andrew Holness becomes PM from October 2011 to January 2012. Together, the bond purchase and property acquisitions amounted to $64.46,792,478 United States dollars between 2008 and 2011, begging the question where did that money come from? There is no major change in the assets and liabilities declared by Holness until 2011 when he purchased a property in Beverly Hills for US$300,000. That is the property where he is building what has been dubbed a mansion that sparked the latest interest in the assets of Holness and his wife Juliet. But the Holness filing reflects a decline in his liquid assets held at three prominent security dealers from US$460,000 to US$150,000 or just over the amount which the family would tap to purchase the new property. 2012 Jan Andrew Holness is leader of the opposition January 2012 to March 2016. 2012 Sept. Subject began preparation of the site for construction which involved the excavation of boulders and fragmentation of rocks. The resulting stones from this process were used to construct retaining, facing, and boundary walls. This initial phase was financed from my savings, salary, and supplier's credit of approximately 3 Jamaican dollars. 8 million. This initial phase cost approximately 8 Jamaican dollars. 6 million inches. How Mr. Holness U.S. dollar portfolio was able to bounce back to United States dollars by 2011 is not clear. And even after shelling out United States dollars for the Shenston property then, by the following year in 2012, Mr. Holness was able to start building his house at Shenston Drive for $52.6,502,964 United States dollars, spent over four years, an amount that was upgraded to $60.3,000.
3,576,525 United States dollars, in the Commission's investigation report. He had stated that this amount was financed by a combination of savings, salary, bank loans and supplier's credit. Quote. 2012-2020. Juliet Holness's company JAJ Development Holdings starts 22 million development of a housing project in St. Andrew. HTTPS colon slash slash Jamaica Gleaner. Com, article, Lead Stories, 20,230,518, Impossible Fix. 2014. In 2014 we completed all major construction and in that year, spent approximately 9 million Jamaican dollars financed by salary, savings, and suppliers credit. Before 2015. Businesses connected to PM. The OCG deemed it necessary to review the incorporation and registration of the following companies, businesses which were alleged to have had connections with the Prime Minister. 1. Positive Jamaica Foundation Limited, Active, Incorporation before 2015. 2. Sunshine Mobile Company Limited, Active, Incorporation before 2015. 3. West Central St. Andrew Trust, Active, Incorporation before 2015. 4. Omega Bridge Finance Limited, Active, Incorporation before 2007. 5. Delido Taxi Service Limited, Removed, Dissolved, Incorporation before 2015. 2015. 2015 There was no significant construction activity as the project was substantially complete. Despite these lingering questions about the funding of these major asset expenditures between 2008 and 2015, the recent Integrity Commission's investigation didn't concern itself with that period. It did find accounts in Admet's name at Stocks and Securities Limited, SSL, and Jamaica Money Market Brokers, JMMB, but based on the more recent periods of activity that the Commission requested or published from both financial institutions, there was no information regarding the 2008-2011 property purchases. Mr. Holness had previously explicitly stated in 2016 that for the land at Shenston Drive, funds from my accounts at JMMB and stocks and securities were used to finance the purchase of the property. Quote. 2016 June. On June 9, 2016, the Office of the Contractor General, OCG, acting on behalf of the Contractor General and pursuant to the provisions which are contained in Sections 15, 1, and 16 of the then applicable Contractor General Act, initiated an investigation into the circumstances surrounding the award of Government of Jamaica contracts to Westcon Construction Limited during the period 2006 to 2009. In the 2016 article, Mr. Holmes told the Gleaner he relinquished his directorships in his businesses, in order to become a minister, in 2007, and after that, if you notice, going forward you don't see any more income coming from business activities. He continued, this is the period that I decided I was going to put my money into stocks, into bonds, into mutual funds and develop my investment pool. Quote. And yet, even after all these shocks to the financial system and asset purchases by Admet without mortgages between 2008 and 2009, by 2011, the year Admet purchased the Shenston Drive land for US$300,000, Mr. Holness liquid assets had jumped back up to US$460,000, according to the Gleaner article. This was despite not having liquidated any of the stated assets by this time and despite his annual salary being only around US$62,513, $5, 2 million, and his overall income averaging around US$82,253, $7, 79 million, per year based on a calculation by 18th north of his declared net income to the gleaner of just over 60 million Jamaican dollars and 189,000 United States dollars for the 10-year period between 2007 to 2016. Mr. Holness didn't answer a subsequent question from 18th North as to how these savings were generated in the first place since he did say by this time he no longer had had income coming in from his businesses. Additionally, 
neither he nor Mrs. Holness, known to be a chartered accountant and a real estate developer, have answered queries from 18th North regarding whether her income had contributed to Admet's property purchases or to the subsequent construction of the Shenston Drive house. One source of funds appears to have been the Acadia apartment. It was sold in 2016 for $16. Five million one hundred and thirty one thousand eight hundred and fifty two United States dollars to partially pay off some of the supplier's credit, according to Mr. Holness. Twenty nineteen. Daryl Vaz in Mexico. The incident involved Vaz travels to Mexico City to collect kickbacks from his Moon Palace Resorts connections for his role in the Rooms on the Beach deal, a prime Jamaican property. The payments of two million United States dollars were made through the Jamaican commissioned agent, but Mr. Vaz collected four hundred and seventy-five thousand United States dollars in Mexico City. The financial transaction flowed through the U.S. banking system, and Mr. Vaz was fingered and when consolidated with U.S. real estate and huge construction works at his house in Portland, Vaz was sanctioned. These funds were also used to acquire additional properties in Portland near Monkey Island. 2020 June. An operations manager of the National Commercial Bank, NCB, has been arrested and charged with larceny as a servant after investigations by the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime, CTOC, branch yesterday uncovered fraud involving $35 million. The Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, on Thursday evening reported on Twitter that Andrea Gordon, 52, was taken into custody after investigations by CTOC detectives revealed that funds had been fleeced from the institution. Sentence 7. Five years in jail. Gordon was represented by attorney at law Vincent Wellesley. HTTPS colon slash slash Vincent Wellesley and company attorneys at law. Business. Site. HTTPS colon slash slash Jamaica Gleaner. Com. Article. News. 20,230,525. Convicted former NCB manager ordered forfeit over 119 million. 2020 Sept. Andrew Holness becomes PM. In calculating the net worth of Mr. Holness and his asset holding companies, Admet and then Imperium, the Director of Investigation, DI, assigned a value to Admet's assets of $117 million, dollars 817013 United States dollars in 2020, which was lower than the valuation given by its accountant of $130.4,910,333 United States dollars. The Commission didn't answer a question about how it came up with that figure but it did have a note in the report that the value of assets was reduced for increases caused by revaluation, as that would not have been funded by the declarant. Quote closing parenthesis. This put the combined net worth of Admits, Imperium's assets and Mr. Holness personal assets in 2020 at $185. $9 tilde $1. 3 million. This would mean that in the 13 years between 2007 and 2020 the Prime Minister's net worth grew by almost $150 million, $185.9 million minus $36, $1 million, or $774,157 United States dollars, tilde $1, 3 million, 523,248 United States dollars. 2021 Sept. 2021-2022. In September 2021, PM liquidated the last remaining financial instrument managed by SSL and instructed his account to be closed. Admet Inc. purchased 100,000 United States dollars. 002039, 8% government of Jamaica Global Bond, that made twice yearly coupon payments. That investment was eventually sold in September 2021. Admet was eventually dissolved in St. Lucia in December 2021 and its assets rolled into Mr. Holness Imperium Investments, along with his personal holdings, Mr. Holness and Imperium's net worth rose a further $5.7 million. 37,639 United States dollars to $191.
$59 million, $1, $26 million, in 2021, the period that had triggered the investigation. The investigation found no unexplained growth in Mr. Holness and Imperium's net worth for the year 2021, but stated that unexplained growth in net worth of $1,930,420, $12,500 million, was found for the year 2022, when his and Imperium's net worth was $201 million, $1, $3 million. 2022 October. Integrity Commission findings, a total of 10, 10, contracts were awarded by the Ministry of Education Youth and Information, MOEYI, to Westcon Construction Limited during the period February 14, 2007, and November 10, 2009. 1. 5. 3 of the 10, 10, contracts, only 5, 5, were reported to the OCG by way of the MOEYI's Quarterly Contract Award, QCA, reports for the period. The 10, 10, contracts awarded by the MOEYI were between the contract values of $1,413,439. 0, 0 and $3,360,650. 00 and had a cumulative value of $21,882,491. 0 2022-2023. SSL scandal. Additionally, between the period 2020 to June 2023, a forensic examination of bank accounts attributable to three wholeness linked companies also revealed that there were intercompany deposits and withdrawals of $473 million, $3, $1 million, and $427 million, $2, $8 million, respectively. These three companies filed nil tax returns, reflecting no income or expenses. Additionally, Section 14, 4, and 5, of the Proceeds of Crime, Money Laundering Prevention, Regulations, 2007 states that records of financial transactions should be kept for a, a period of seven years commencing on the date on which the relevant financial business was completed or the business relationship was terminated, whichever occurs later. This stipulation could be relevant in the case of admits account at JMMB, for example, since the Commission in its report found that while that account was opened in 2008, it was only closed in March 2023. The legislation, however, refers to providing the information to the designated authority, or competent authority, which doesn't explicitly include the Integrity Commission. Instead, it mentions the Chief Technical Director of the Financial Investigations Division, FID, one of the entities that the Integrity Commission had indicated in its report should carry out further investigations into companies linked to Mr. Holness. The Tax Administration of Jamaica, Taj, was the other. It remains to be seen whether the FID or the Taj will begin their own probes. Neither would confirm to 18th North if they have started or plan to do so. But even if they do, the question is, will they investigate the source of funds for admit?